Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sally, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, this is our Holiday Marketing Masterclass uh, in association with Dynamic Bodywork Academy. Hopefully, I haven't interrupted your afternoon, and uh, we can really sit down and get going with some great hints and tips on how you can plan and market your Christmas holidays to make sure that you have some killer offers for your clients and keep your clinic nice and busy going into the new year. I want to thank everyone who has signed up for the masterclass today, everyone who has joined us. We've got a great group of therapists online today. Hi Irene, thank you very much for registering and joining us today. A nice shout out there to Heather. Thank you, Heather, for joining us. I hope I won't take up too much of your time today because we know we're all busy therapists. Hi there, Lorna, Beth, Melanie. Excellent. Good. So everyone's joining us. So let's get started, shall we? So what are we going to cover today in our masterclass presentation? We are going to look at solving the problems that our clients may have for the holiday season. So we'll talk a little bit about the problems that they tend to have during the Christmas holidays and what we as therapists can do to help solve those issues. We are going to talk about creating killer offers for our clients, not just giving them discounts. It's not always about reducing the cost of your services. We're going to talk about working with other service providers so that we can create a mutually beneficial relationship with them and keep ourselves and them busy and share with the clients. We're also going to talk a little bit about setting terms and conditions for our offers. We really need to make sure that we focus on our boundaries as we can sometimes get wrapped up in the season of goodwill and feel like because it's Christmas or because it's a holiday offer that we do have to bend somewhat. But it's very important that we do establish our boundaries before going ahead with our offers so that everyone knows where they stand from the get-go. And finally, we're going to have a talk about marketing throughout the month. So we want to plan ahead with our marketing so that we know exactly what we're going to market and what we're going to make available to our clients, when we're going to make it available. And we're also going to discuss a little bit about automating our marketing as well so that we don't feel like we're always going to be chained to the computer or chained to the phone with our marketing push. So what are the problems that our clients may face during the holidays that we are hoping to create a solution for? Gifts for friends and family. Obviously, one of the big things about the Christmas season is that we get together with our friends and family and we exchange gifts. So one of the things that we want to do is look at what type of gifts we can give to our clients that they can share with their friends and family, whether that be small takeaways of products that we may offer or whether that be a gift voucher sales that they can share as well. We want to make it convenient for our clients to purchase, especially the last two weeks build up to Christmas as people are rushing around. You know yourself when you get ready to go to the shopping centre to do your last minute Christmas shopping, the place is hectic, you can never find what you're looking for, everybody gets stressed out. And finally, one of the other problems that we tend to have here in the UK from time to time is that we can sometimes have some bad winters. I know when I first moved back here in 2010, that was the first really bad winter that we'd had um, for a long time. And it kind of shut places down for a while. The problem with that was for those who had decided to purchase online, uh, they struggled and had a week, sometimes two to three weeks of a delay on the delivery of their items with some people not receiving gifts that they had purchased until well after the holiday season. So we'll look at ways that you can set it up to make it a little bit easier for your clients to purchase your gifts or services from the convenience of their home without getting too stressed out about the holiday mania. We want to accommodate clients that are stressing out, so those who do feel the pressure of the Christmas season, um, by offering small treatments or small taster sessions throughout the holiday period so that they can pop in for a short 30-minute treatment 
chill out uh, in the middle of their uh, Christmas shopping and kind of get themselves back um, to a nice, pleasant, happy, uh, emotional place so they can continue on and enjoy their shopping and enjoy their holidays. And we also want to look at offering tempting treatments for those taking time off or visiting friends and family. So although we're focusing on the build-up to Christmas, we want to look at the days in between Christmas and New Year as well and try and accommodate for those days so that if there are visitors from out of town, we may be able to get them in. Um, And it may just be a one-off client, but every client on the table is a good client. So gift card offers. You want to make your Christmas holiday gift card offer one that you never run at any other time of the year. Now, for my own clinic, what I do is during my uh, holiday giveaway is I do a buy one, get one free on my gift vouchers. Now, I do have some specific terms and conditions to those gift vouchers um, and how they can be purchased and how they can be used. Um, so although it sounds quite dramatic offering a buy one get one free um, it does work out um, a good return on investment and I believe my return on investment for the buy one get one free is something like um, 50 to 60 percent as I do get a client retention from that the client retention from the free gift cards is somewhere around 30 to 40 percent it sounds low but it really isn't And if it means that I can encourage clients to come back and pay for upgrades or purchase a membership plan going forward because they can see the benefits of regular massage, then that works out for my favour. Don't offer a discount that you're uncomfortable fulfilling. This goes back to whether or not you feel a buy one, get one free um, is something that you're happy to accommodate. If your average charge for a massage is £40, Are you comfortable providing uh, an hour's massage for £20 at that point? If you are, then that's great. That's a great offer to give. However, if you don't feel that you can meet your costs and that you would be happy to offer the service at that rate, then don't do it. I do sometimes see, especially younger therapists, get a little bit burnt out because they'll run an offer where they will do a one-hour massage or a full-body massage for 10 to 15 pounds um, because they really want the business and they really want to fill their table but the quality of clients that you can get from those offers um, are not often the type of clients that you want to see uh, attend your clinic you're not they're not your ideal client because you get a lot of deal chasers giving such a low offer so make sure that the discounts that you do offer for your gift cards is something that you're comfortable with. You don't want to start resenting doing the treatments or um, getting that sense of dread whenever you get a call from a client who says, oh, I have this gift voucher that I got at Christmas. So make sure that you sit down and do your numbers and work out exactly what you're comfortable uh, discounting on your gift cards before you go ahead. If you're a solo practitioner um, or if you're in a small clinic and you're doing really well, uh, you know, you're, you're staying relatively busy and although you do have a little bit of free time that you could see more clients, you maybe don't want to feel overwhelmed or bombarded. Um, so if you're in that situation, limit your offer. Say that you're going to do a buy one, get one free gift voucher, um, but it's only going to be available for the first 50 clients that purchase or the first 10 to 15 clients that you purchase if you work on your own or work from home Um, obviously uh, doing such a volume discount like that can be difficult if you are working from home so think about what you're comfortable offering again and make sure that you work out roughly how many new clients or how many more clients can you see in your schedule so that you get an idea of exactly how many gift cards you want to sell for that particular offer Convenience. Now, if you are online at all with your marketing, if you have a website, if you uh, have a Facebook account to let your clients know about your services or know about your appointment schedule, offer clients the opportunity to purchase online if they can. Now, if you do have an online booking system, that's great. Most of these will offer the ability 
for your clients to purchase a gift card through their system and it's all wrapped up with your booking and your scheduler, that's fantastic. However, if you don't have that opportunity, what you can do um, is you can use PayPal. So you can create a PayPal button that you can add to your website that will allow them just a one-click option to purchase uh, your gift card for whatever voucher. In that instance, when you're just working through PayPal and a PayPal button, you want to make sure that you're using the email address of the purchase to verify the gift voucher because basically the email that they will receive to confirm that they have purchased a gift card or um, an equivalent value of a service from you is what you're going to do to make sure that people don't gain the system. Um, with my online scheduler, it allows me to create uh, gift card numbers at random. And these gift card numbers are then used when the client redeems their voucher and is then removed from the system so that the gift cards can't be used again. Um, so yes, use your content management system. This is your online scheduler or your online booking system. Use PayPal buttons if that's not an option for you. Or WorldPay if you already accept um, debit cards or credit cards, then you may have a web interface where you can set it up so that you can use buttons um, for them to be able to purchase directly from your web page or from your Facebook page. Um, if you're working Christmas fairs and you um, use PayPal at all, it might be a good idea to look into the PayPal chip and pin purchasing system and always make sure that you have gift cards with you whenever you're working events like this. If you're working um, charity events, offering uh, on-site massage or you're, uh, if you're a Neil Yard um, representative and you're offering massage services or your gift card for your massage as well as your Neil's Yard products, always make sure that you have them with you so that no matter what, you can sell your services at that point. And by having a PayPal chip and pin card, it's great because you can take the payment there and then. It gets sent away to PayPal and you it goes through your phone so you don't have to worry about whether or not someone actually has cash on them and can pay for the items there and then because they're using their chip and pin card to do so. Um, in the last couple of days, run on the lead up to Christmas, especially on New Year's Eve, um, extend your clinic hours if you can so that clients can pop in and purchase at the last minute. Last minute sales normally equate for the largest volume of our gift card sales. And what we tend to do is on Christmas Eve when we're open, we only operate uh, services for the first half of the day and then around two o'clock in the afternoon uh, we stop offering services and the clinic is available only for gift card purchases so we'll remain open between two and six um, and that's simply for our clients to be able to pop in and purchase a gift card uh, we don't have to worry about whether someone will be available on reception because there are clients in we don't have to worry about disturbing clients who may be on the table it's solely for the option for people to pop in and purchase a gift card. So that's us talked about gift cards. Fantastic way to boost your sales during Christmas and to make sure that you've got your clients coming back throughout the new year, not just necessarily um, the first month or two of the new year, but throughout the year they can redeem those gift cards and you'll always get clients coming back. I've found that um, on some cards where I don't have an expiration, that maybe 18 months down the line I'm still getting a call from someone saying hey this was bought for me on my birthday last year and I just found it uh, can I still redeem it absolutely you've paid for it come on in um, so that's always our first deal that we work with in the Christmas season the next thing we do is we have a look at the option of working with other providers um, so what you're going to do is you're going to want to look for other smaller uh, either solo run or family run businesses, um, ideally within your vicinity. So if you do have a clinic location, have a look at the shops around you, have a look at the other businesses around you. Do any of them fit in with your business style or with your services that you could do a partnership with? Um, if you're working from home, maybe you have a friend who also has a part-time business, uh, either 
um, a crafting business or they maybe run um, some fitness classes on the side or they do some type of class on the side. Look for the smaller businesses who are going to be grateful to be able to offer their customers something for the holidays. So here's how this works. What you want to do is you want to reach out to two or three businesses. They may all bite. They may, may just find that just one is interested. Um, you ask them some questions about their businesses. How many customers do they have? Do they send any Christmas cards or anything out to their customers um, for the holiday season? Get an idea of the number of people that they look at having uh, through their business during the December period. And then what you'll do is you will say to them, OK, well, with the Christmas card that you send out to your customers, um, I'm going to give you for free and no cost to you uh, a gift voucher for my massage services or for my services and products. Um, generally, I don't go above a 30 minute massage. I, I don't ever give anything above 30 minutes away for free. So I what my gift to them is normally a 30 minute session. Now, that cost to me would normally be £25. So if they're talking about having sending out 100 uh, Christmas cards to their customers, then that would be um, £2,500 worth of a gift that they would give to their customers. It doesn't cost them anything. Um, but what it does is it raises awareness and interest for my business. Now, not all of those... Uh, gift vouchers are going to be redeemed but how we make our money from them is one we specify that they have to be new customers with us only and two we put an upgrade option on those so a thir free 30 minute massage sounds great but if they can get a one hour for just an extra 10 pounds that's that's an extra 10 pounds um that we wouldn't have normally seen and it's a new customer once we get a client on the table and they feel the benefits of our work that's the hardest part is getting them on the table getting them to return after that is a piece of pie so getting that customer in with that option of upgrading to 10 pound is going to be great because that's 10 pound in your pocket that you wouldn't normally have um, so reach out and highlight to these other businesses the value of the partnership in my example that would be we're giving you the opportunity to give your customers £2,500 worth of a gift at no cost to you. And it also makes their customers see uh, that that business really appreciates them because they're giving them a gift for Christmas. They're giving them something that they wouldn't receive from any other business. Um, add the upgrade offer. So that it's one that your client can't refuse. Um, as I said, I normally do upgrade to an hour for £10, upgrade to 90-minute treatment for £15. Um, and how that will work is when the client calls to book their appointment um, and they say, hey, I got this gift voucher from uh, Ed's Fitness for um, a free massage. I wanted to call and book it in. Um, I'm extremely grateful that they're calling and I'm really excited to hear their call and what I ask them rather than um, are you wanting me to book you in for the 30 minute appointment I ask them um, would you like to upgrade that to the one hour massage for the additional 10 pounds because I focus mainly on that upgrade they generally say yes my refusal rate is really low I am talking maybe only 10 percent of the people who call to book the appointment from those gift cards will refuse and say, no, I, I'm just wanting the 30 minute freebie. Um, if you ask them straight away, would you like me to book you in for that one hour massage um, just for the 10 pounds more? They'll go say, you know what, why not? Go ahead, it's Christmas, go ahead and book me in. Um, but the key to this so that people aren't taking advantage of you for this is to set a specific expiration date and set it beyond January. If you're working, for example, with a gym or a fitness instructor, January is going to be their busiest, busiest period, and that's when they can hand out these vouchers. But you don't want to be bombarded in January and then for it to peter out a little bit. You want to give them the opportunity to spread out all these new things that are going to be starting for the new year. So set your expiration date for maybe the middle of February, the beginning of February, the middle of February. That gives them about six weeks or so to use these vouchers um, but don't let it stop there 
ha- there's I like to have an, what I call an unwritten exception to the expiration date. So if someone does receive this voucher from another business, then um, say it's the 10th of February and that's when the gift card is due to expire and they find it on the 26th of February and they didn't realise that they'd put it in a drawer and they just find it when they're cleaning up. They'll call up and say, hey, you know, I've got this gift voucher from such and such a business um, and it said that it expired um, on the 26th of February. I'm just calling to see if the offer is still available. And what I tell them is, you know, unfortunately that offer did expire on the 26th of February. But what I can do is if you'd like to book in for one hour massage, where you would normally pay the £10 um, upgrade on the massage, I'll take that as a as a discount for you. So where I'd normally charge £40 for my one hour massage, I'll discount it £10 um, or the value of that expired gift voucher if you want to still come in um, and receive your treatment. Again, normally the uptake on that is quite high because the fact that they've called you after the expiration normally suggests that they're still really interested in your services. So don't turn away business, but find a way how you can work with them. Yes, it expired, um, but that's not to say that uh, you should turn away their business. See if you can find an offer where you can both be in the middle. They can receive um the treat that they received from that business whichever it may be and you also get a new client and get a little bit of money from that a little bit of goodwill if you like um and one other thing that i don't have listed on here that i would suggest you do when you do um, find a business or a friend who wants to work with you in this manner when you give them the gift cards to hand out to their customers make sure they're customized so they'll be branded with your logo or your business information on it and what to do is on the card itself along with your expiration day and the upgrade offer on it you want to say um, with compliments from and the business name or your friend's name who's going to be giving these gift vouchers out and the final thing that we use um, to really push our market in during December is creating a festive treatment program. And this is what I like to call as my uh, 12 days of Christmas. Um, so you want to look at the days that you're going to be available during the Christmas period. That will help you uh, decide what kind of things you're going to offer for 12 days in a row because you are going to give something back to your clients Um one thing each day for 12 days. It sounds like trying to come up with an awful lot of information, but depending on your availability and how often you can see clients will depend on the type of things that you create. You want to add value to your existing treatments. You don't want to create new treatments um, and increase the costs. What we're looking here is to generate client loyalty and to make them feel a little bit special and encourage them to come in and see you during the Christmas when normally they'd be busy with other things. Uh, Some of these additional values is creating short taster sessions to showcase any treatments that you may have. So if you offer um, aromatherapy treatments, you could offer a special aromatherapy blend that's created just for Christmas. If you offer Thai foot treatments, you could offer... Um, discounted 30 minute taster session so if you normally charge um, 30 pounds for a 30 minute massage uh, offer 30 minute Thai foot treatment for 15 pounds add some fabulous freebies now um, fabulous freebies are things that are going to cost you little to nothing but it makes the client feel like they're getting something great. They're getting something fabulous, whether that be knowledge that you're sharing that they can use or whether that be something to take away from a treatment that they've came to receive during the holiday period. So I wanted to share with you my uh, calendar for December to show you what I'm promoting and how I'm promoting these um, throughout the month. And it gives you an idea that will hopefully generate some thoughts of things that you can maybe offer your clients. The 1st of December, Monday the 1st, I always send out my December newsletter. In the newsletter, I will let them know to keep an eye on their email on the 13th because that's when we'll be starting our 12 Days of Christmas event. 
I also let them know what my holiday hours are. If I'm going to be closed during the holiday period, uh, either just for family time or training or just closed uh, or short hours at all, I let them know at the beginning of December so they can know what to expect throughout the rest of the month. Um, and just give them a, a little update on how things are going at the clinic or any other news that you want to share. Um, and try and keep in contact with my clients on a regular basis uh, throughout the week. Um, so on the 3rd of December, uh, I will decorate the clinic and share pictures of the clinic being all decorated for Christmas. Um, and then on Friday the 5th, I like to share out a calendar of any local Christmas events that are taking place uh, in the community. So, for example, for us, uh, December 6th is Small Business Awareness Day. And our local uh, community council are putting on some events to highlight uh, the small local businesses in town. So we will be um, doing some freebie chair massage and inviting clients in giving them some christmas cookies and stuff to encourage them to come in and visit the business and find out what we're about on monday the 8th of december i like to send out a reminder letting them know that at the end of the week we'll be launching the first day of christmas um in our 12 day of christmas event and that gets them kind of excited and makes them remember that if there were people that they wanted to buy gift vouchers for for christmas then that's when they should uh look out for any deals that we may be offering um again i i've got a few other notes here this is just my own marketing plan so some of these things aren't necessarily associated with the 12 days but they're in here anyway i share some winter remedies with clients any uh home remedies that are believed to help cure winter aches and pains or colds and stuff like that i like to share that it's a nice little piece of information to share with them um I like to take pictures of my gift cards for the year. Um, every Christmas I try and create uh, Christmassy looking gift cards so that when people are receiving them, they know it, it's a gift card that was received for Christmas. So once they arrive, I like to take pictures of them and share them. And again, it builds up the excitement because um, I've been running my buy one, get one free offer for several years now. And at the start of December, people start asking when it's going to be available. So this gets them really excited for that gift card offer um, going live. And then December 13th is our first day of Christmas. This is uh, the, the deal that we offer on this day is announcing that our buy one, get one free gift card offer is now available. It will be available for the next 12 days and only the next 12 days. So if they want to take advantage of it, then make sure that they uh, pop in um, or buy online to receive those discount offers. The second day of Christmas, um, I share facts about cold weather, um, so information possibly about the weather that you're having locally as well, if there have been any reports of potential bad weather, or if it's been unseasonably warm for the Christmas, you can talk about that. Um, and then I offer uh, some little hints and tips on little heat treatments that can be done at home, whether that be uh, how to make your own uh, wheat heat bag that you can pop in the microwave for some nice relaxing warmth um, or uh, be a best use guide on how to apply heat treatments at home. That's a, a great little freebie that they can have that gives them some new information and gives them a skill. It teaches them how to make something at home that they can also use if they wanted. They could learn how to make little wheat bags um, or little eye patches or something and then give those as Christmas gifts. Uh, on the third day of Christmas, that's a Monday. So Sunday and Monday, you'll notice that I'm giving away information. Uh, so the Sunday I'm giving away how to make uh, wheat bags and how to do your own little heat treatments at home. On the Monday, the third day of Christmas, uh, I am giving uh, recipes on how to make uh, spa gifts. So that, that's going to be homemade bath bombs, um, uh, homemade sugar scrubs, things that clients, one, really like to use. It makes them feel uh, delicious. It makes them feel pampered. But they can use that information to create homemade gifts that they can share with their friends and family. So we reopen again on Tuesday. So my clinic runs from Tuesday through Saturday. That's why Sunday and Monday were closed and those are information products. On the Tuesday, um, my fourth day of Christmas, I am going to be doing um, a spicy fruit soak. So we're going to invite our clients to come in about half an hour, 
you know, no more than half an hour, but about half an hour before their treatment. So they can come in, they'll receive a nice, warm, uh, spicy apple cider drink. And they will be invited to have a foot soak um, with a special Christmas blend, um, a spicy foot blend that we use for a foot soak. And then after that foot soak, we'll go on um, with hot stone massage and all of that will be included in the price of the regular massage that they had booked for. On the fifth day, um, we are going to talk about uh, wrapping up Christmas presents. We're getting closer to Christmas now and people will be wrapping up all those presents. So to keep their hands uh, nimble and to keep their fingers um, feeling good from all that Christmas wrapping, we're offering uh, a pop-in um, or a free 15-minute hand massage with any of our 30-minute or 60-minute massages. So that, again, is just a quick 15 minutes added on to the end of their session that they wouldn't normally have. Uh, on the sixth day of Christmas, we are uh, making it a little bit more simple in this case. We're going to discount um, our facial. So we're going to offer our luxury facial at half price. And that's, again, prepping them for the weekend. So this will be a Thursday. We're preparing them for the weekend ahead by helping them get beautiful, glowing skin. Um, and then Friday, we are going to do a peppermint bark foot treatment. So that is going to be a chocolate and peppermint massage oil or massage lotion that we create in the clinic ourselves it's all organic natural ingredients um and it makes us um kind of remember or makes our clients kind of think about candy canes and the mint chocolate that you get at christmas and we're also going to have little uh peppermint candy canes to give to the clients as a little gift on the saturday that's where we try to to keep some of our better um offers or freebies on the saturday all our treatments, we are going to offer the clients the opportunity to receive a holiday spice um, aromatherapy oil with their treatment. So that's a, a blend that we've created that has uh, pine, clove and mandarin essential oils to give them a, a really nice, um, warm, Christmassy sensation during their massage. And we're also, with the, the remainder of the blend, we give away in little five millimeter balls um, to take away with them as a gift and we put a nice little gift tag on it and stuff as well so they can take that away and they can add it to their bath water they can use it themselves to give themselves a little bit of a massage or give a friend a massage as well on um the sunday it's going to be an information product again so on the sunday we're going to send out um a little document to our clients that gives them some hints and tips about staying warm or warming up before their uh, work day or before their exercise routines um, to make sure that their body stays nice and limber and they're not going out there into the cold with cold bodies and potentially um, getting injured. Um, so the week run up to Christmas, we are closed on the Monday because this is the, the really hectic week. Our information on the Monday is going to be about mindfulness and how you can survive the stress and chaos of the holiday season and still practice mindfulness during the holidays. So that's our little information product that we're going to run on the 10th day of Christmas. On the 11th day, on the Tuesday, what we're going to do on this day is anybody who attends the clinic for an appointment on that day, they get to take a Christmas cracker from our Christmas tree. Each of the crackers that we put on the tree have a little gift card inside them that will offer them a discount um, on our services. So whether that be a 5, 10, 15% discount, we keep them relatively small for most of them. And then just one cracker on the tree will contain a free 60 minute massage. So as a luck of the draw, they get to choose which cracker it is that they pull from the tree. Um, so it's completely random at who gets that. And it's a fun little thing to get them in the holiday spirit. Um, and then the 24th uh, is, Obviously, Christmas Eve and earlier we spoke about um, how I only run a half day on that day. So we'll have a half day of treatments and um, the rest of the day will be remaining open to sell gift cards for our clients. But what we do on that day is for anybody that comes in and sees us, we have little raw chocolate uh, gift bags made up that we give away as a gift um, to our clients. So that's my 12 days of Christmas. I hope uh, some of those ideas interest you and get you thinking about the type of things that you could possibly offer to your clients. 
But I wanted to share that with you. Feel free to use some of the ideas there if you want or throw it away if you think some of them are ridiculous. But I just hope it gets you thinking. The important part of this presentation is to get you thinking about things that you can do that are not going to cost you anything at all or cost you very little to help boost your uh, gift card purchases and boost your attendance during the Christmas season. And the rest of my calendar just shows that I've set up some automatic emails that are sent out um, and obviously I've scheduled a day where absolutely nothing is done so I don't have to worry about it. Um, but we are open on the 27th, that Saturday, uh, and that lets people who may be visiting friends out of town pop in for a little treatment or pop in for a visit um, and redeem any gift cards that they might have received during the holidays and they may be going back out of town and aren't going to be able to use them for a while. So that's why we open up on the 26th on the 27th and I've got down here automate everything if you can automate as much of your marketing as you can by creating this plan early it lets me create the emails or the majority of the emails before the day that they get sent out so I can schedule them all I know that they're going to go out on time they're going to go out to my client list and everybody's going to receive the information that they need to receive. And it stops me having to stress about, oh, well, today it's day 10, and I need to make sure that that freebie is put together and that email gets sent out. Do it now before December hits so that you don't suffer from the overwhelm that your clients may be experiencing. If you're using Facebook to do your promotions, you can also schedule your posts on Facebook. So go ahead. You can schedule, I believe, up to three or four months in advance. So schedule as many posts as you can and get them ready and waiting to go out. If you use Twitter as well, Twitter itself doesn't have an easy ability to schedule posts. So if you're using a third party client, most of them give you the option to schedule posts. Um, so try and do that if you can. Otherwise, what you can do is within Facebook itself, you can link your Facebook posts to your Twitter account. And then when the posts, the scheduled posts go live on Facebook, that post then gets sent to Twitter as well. So you're keeping in touch with everyone through every avenue that you can. It's all scheduled in advance. So it takes the pressure off of you so you can focus on um, the experience and enjoying the Christmas experience. And the last thing I want to talk about today, hopefully uh, I haven't overwhelmed you too much, but we're going to talk about setting boundaries. Terms and conditions are a must. Limit your deals or vouchers on a per client basis. Now, I briefly mentioned when I talked about my buy one, get one free offer that I do set some limitations on that. And I do make sure that they're posted on my website, that they're posted in the emails that I send out about the offer, and that they're also listed on the gift cards themselves. And the limits and boundaries that I set are the maximum purchase on a gift card is a value of £200. So that means that the total value going out um, on a per client basis is no more than £400. If I have a client coming in and they want to purchase £200 worth of my services and receive £200 worth free, that's fantastic. Because I know that that means that they're a dedicated client. They're going to return to me over and over again. Um, so no more than £200 on that value. If you're a solo practitioner... Um, and that seems like an awful lot for you, limit it to £50 and they can purchase a gift voucher for a maximum of £50. And I also limit that on a per visit basis, which means that they um, can't come in two or three times on the same day and purchase another £200 gift voucher, another £200 gift voucher. If they want to purchase more gift vouchers beyond that, then they have to come back another time. Also, I limit it that that value has to be on the one voucher. They can't come in and say, I want to purchase uh, a £200 gift voucher, but I want you to spread that value out over eight or ten vouchers. Um, so if it's a £50 voucher, then they'll get two £50 vouchers. If it's a £200 voucher, they'll get two £200 vouchers. It, they won't get uh, five vouchers with the, the value spread out across the five vouchers. It's on a per voucher basis. For the freebies, put an expiration date on those. So any of the free vouchers that you're giving away in conjunction with someone else, or any of the free um, offers that you're offering during your 12 days of Christmas, 
make sure that there's a limit on those. For the 12 days of Christmas, generally those are limited to that day only. The client has to come in for a treatment on that day to receive that special offer. Um, but for the freebie we discussed earlier, try and extend that date just beyond January a little bit because everybody gets hyped up during January and you'll be busy, busy, busy because they want to use these vouchers. But give those stragglers the opportunity to pop in as well and become new clients. Create soft expiration dates. That's um, when I discussed about setting an expiration date on your freebie vouchers, but also leaving room for negotiation. So if you still feel like you could service a client whose voucher has expired, then work with them a little bit and see what kind of offer you can come up with where it keeps you happy because you're still receiving value for that offer, even though it's expired, and the client feels that you're being generous um, and giving them some goodwill. Spell out any restrictions multiple times. This is where it's so important to remind clients when you're talking to them, have a poster up in your clinic area, uh, make sure it's spelled out and highlighted in your emails or on your Facebook. Whenever you mention an offer that you are giving to a client, cover your butt and have the restrictions that you're putting in place spelled out everywhere so that there is no mistake they can't come back and say well I didn't know that there was a restriction on this I didn't know that there was an expiration on this and then when it comes to marketing your services and marketing during the Christmas period there is no right or wrong time to market there is only all the time and that's where the scheduling of your marketing comes in play Make sure that your emails are scheduled. Make sure that your Facebook posts are scheduled. And once a week um, from the day that you schedule everything, just sit down for an hour or 90 minutes one day once you've decided what all your offers are going to be and write down all these posts and get them all scheduled in. The sooner the better because you can then revisit them. You've got that extra time to go back and say, well, you know, maybe I'm not comfortable with that particular offer and you can go back and tweak it a little bit. So I really hope that you've enjoyed my presentation today. If you do have any questions about anything that I discussed today, there's my email address, sally at dynamicbodywork.co.uk. You can also find us on Facebook where we've just created a student uh, student group as well associated with our Facebook if you'd like an invite to that let me know we can add you we'd love to have students come in and chat about the different offers that they created during the Christmas period or any themed treatments that you created and how the voucher offer or how the partnership offer worked for you we want to hear uh, about your Christmas successes and any stumbling blocks that you found if you found any of the offers or any of the market and opportunities a little bit more difficult than you initially envisioned come in and chat with us and let's see if anyone else can come up with an idea on how you can implement those um, to make next year even more fabulous you can also find us on twitter and you can also find us on pinterest we are slowly uploading a lot of different images from our training manuals and from our technique manuals just to share with you the different types of holds the different types of technique that we use and that we teach in our classes and those all go up for free now we are recording this webinar and we are going to make it available to everyone um, by the end of this week so keep an eye out on your emails keep an eye out on facebook for the webinar going live that way you can come back and refer back to it along with this webinar we also have the freebie document that we sent out a few weeks ago um, for signing up for a newsletter which is the uh basically the write-up of our holiday marketing guide and the ideas that you can use as well as my own calendar um, I've exported the calendar as a pdf for you so it's something that you can download and print off and refer to and maybe scratch out things that I've noted on there that you don't like so that you can build a calendar of your own all right so I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to sit down with me today and chat about uh, the holiday plans going forward I really hope this helps boost your clients uh, intake for Christmas and going into the new year get yourself some great new clients for the new year um, so have a fantastic afternoon <laughs>